So I have with me today Priscilla Campos. Hi, Priscilla. Hi, Dave. Thanks for having me in. How are you doing? Good, good, good. Good, good. good. So Priscilla is a past client of ours. Uh, Mel helped you find a home, right? Mm -hmm. Or at least one property. Yeah. And then I had you and your sister had a property that we uh, listed and sold. And uh, Priscilla is running for a magisterial district judge. I'll give the official code here, 23-2-01. But what that translates to is in Reading's 18th Ward, mm -hmm. uh, parts of the 1st, 4th, and 5th? Yes. Okay. All right. And then why don't you just, you know, mention, like, the, the areas so people know. So the area that covers is southwest of Reading, Millmont area, Kenhurst area, and um, south. Um, and Wyomissing Park, Wyoming. South Wyomissing Park. Yeah, yeah. So, so just so people have an idea, like if, if you're watching this video and you're able to vote in those areas, um, you know, I highly support Priscilla. So you have, uh, you mentioned your master's was in public administration. Yes. Okay. So you have a lot of education. You've gone through the process to, you know, figure out what, what it means to become a magisterial judge. Yes. So explain a little bit more about, you know, why you love the city of Reading, why you're doing this, and so on and so forth. So I, I was born and raised in New York City. Uh, we arrived to Reading with my family 16 years ago. Um, and those 16 years, we have been focusing and getting an education. Mm -hmm. um, I have a bachelor's degree in criminal justice and a master's degree in public administration. Um, and then a uh, city judge... Right now, Mr. Robinson, um, working as a property manager, I had to go into court to do the landlord and tenant cases. Um, we were chatting one day and he said, hey, why well, don't you get interested in um, being a magisterial district judge? And I said, oh, not really, I'm not really interested. And then he said, look into it. There is a requirement that is the course of a minor judicial board and they will give you an examination. So I looked into it, I got into the course, I took my test and I passed, the reason why I'm certified to be, to perform the duties of a magisterial district judge. And then there I said, yeah, I think I have what it takes for this job. I understand the our duties and performance. I have that knowledge of criminology because of criminal justice. Um, courses that I took, I have the knowledge of that mentality because of the psychology courses also that I took. So I think that I am, I, my education enhances my ability to perform this um, duty correctly um, and also help my community in a way. Yeah, um, it's well, not, sure. Yeah, it's not only of, you know, this I, being a local um, official is that local area that we are, we, I will be serving if I do get, become an, an elective MDJ. Yeah, so you're, I mean, it's pretty much grassroots. You're, mm -hmm. you're right in there mm -hmm. <laughs> with the day to day. But I mean, that's, I don't know any, that much about the rest of your family, but you know, that's the, one of the things I admire about you and your sister is like your, your, your passion for what you do, your education. And I don't really know you that long either, but you know, <laughs> but I'm a, massively impressed. So that's yes, why, because I, I do these business spotlight videos and I can't really say that I've ever done one, you know, to, to support anybody or endorse them for, uh, for a candidacy. So yes, yeah, yes, so thanks. Yeah, so Thanks for the opportunity. I think it's very important for the community to know the importance of local elections. We only focus on the presidential. And then, right. like, yeah, we already voted. We also have local elections. And the local elections are the ones that actually affect us in a day in, day out. Um, you know, it's very important for us to put our input. We have that right, and we should exercise that right. Absolutely. Because even... This year, we have four new questions that will be coming in the ballot. Okay. They are very important. Um, our president, Biden, have talked about it. It will affect our constitution. So those are also the things that, that is important to know. What's going on? What changes are coming in in our country that we have the, the our our right to vote and to make the change? Very good. And one, one of the other things that I'll say, like just along with what you said, is that these races are won or lost in the primaries, pretty much. Exactly, exactly. So why don't you give the date for the primary and then we'll just, we'll wrap it up? Yes. So the date of our primary election of 2021 is May 18. Um, I am in the race for the seat for MDJ. We are three of us. Um, competing for the Democrat Party, but okay. I'm also cross filing. I have the right to do that as an MDJ, so I'm in both parties. 
um, Democrat and Republican, but the race is to win the Democrat Party. Very good. May 18th, vote for May Priscilla 18, Campos. May 18th, that's it, vote for Priscilla Campos. So um, what else? I was going to say one, one more thing. So um, if someone did want to support you otherwise, what's the best way to do that? Phone, Facebook? Yes, so we have a website. It's called CandidatePCampos.com. You could get, get to know me more, ask me questions. We also have an email that is CandidatePCampos at gmail.com. I have Facebook as well also as candidate p campos youtube as well if you want to know a little bit more about me i elaborate more on the courses um and my qualities my skills as well as candidate p campos and you know shoot us an email text us whatever you want to we are also doing the flur and blur i wild miss wild missing park every tuesday from five to six and saturdays from eight to nine okay. so you can meet me there me and my team will be there ask you questions, being personal, you know, getting to know the community a little more and, and any issues or, or questions that you have, feel free to reach us. Very good, so there you have it. So if you're able to vote in this partic for this particular uh, magisterial judge, then uh, here is someone that you should, you should, that I highly recommend. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dave.